this video, I'm going to go through the Soya Squeeze filtration system. I'm going to share with you all the features. I'm going to go through how to use it, as well as share with you my tips from my experience using it on numerous through hiking, backpacking and camping trips. The Soya Squeeze provides you access to clean water in the backcountry and anywhere in the world. It is simple to use and fits in the palm of your hand, making it ideal for days out hiking, backcountry trekking, backpacking, camping, ultralight backpacking, through hiking, international travel and emergency preparedness. In the pack I purchased, which is the SP129, it contains the filter with a built-in push-pull cap, two 32 ounce collapsible pouches, a cleaning syringe, the mesh carry pouch, an inline adapter kit and a gravity tube. The filter with the cap weighs in at only 72 grams, which is less than three ounces. The filter comes provided with the built-in push-pull cap, so you can spray water straight into your mouth or use it to fill a water bottle. You can replace the push-pull cap that it comes provided with with a standard water bottle top. And I like to get a sports one with a flip lid, so you're not having to worry about the cap getting lost all the time. The two 32 ounce, which is just under 950 mils, collapsible pouches weigh in at 32 grams each. They're made from a durable mylar foil, which is 100% BPA free, and it can be rolled nice and tight for easy packing. To use this system, you simply fill up the pouch at a lake, stream, river, waterfall, wherever you can find some water, and then screw the filter directly onto the provided pouch. You can drink directly from the filter or squeeze water directly into any other water carrying device. Just a little tip when you're attaching this to a pouch, be very careful not to over tighten this because there's an O-ring on the inside which can be pushed and lodged into the thread on the inside of the filtration system or it can get lodged on the inside of the pouch itself. So tighten firmly but don't over tighten. Another little tip is dry your dirty bag off before filtering so no dirty water drips into your clean bottle. On the Sawyer website it states that it will fill a standard water bottle within 30 seconds. It does depend though on how clean the filter is so you've got to make sure that it's nice and clean for a full flow. Altitude also does affect the flow rate, so the higher you go, the slower the flow. Now, it doesn't state exactly how big that standard water bottle is, so what I'm gonna do is put it to the test. I'm gonna fill up a Nalgene bottle up to 500 mils and time how long it takes. And meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I shall tell you a bit more about how the filter works. It contains a high number of tiny U-shaped hollow fibre microtubes that trap contaminants while allowing decontaminated water to freely pass through at a high flow rate. It's rated to 0.1 micron absolute filtration. This means there is no pore size larger than 0.1 micron in size. This makes it impossible for harmful bacteria, protozoas or cysts to pass through the filter. It therefore removes 99.99999% of all bacteria, such as Salmonella, Leptospirosis, Cholera and E. coli. It also removes 99.9999 of all protozoa, such as Guardia and Cryptosporidium. And it also removes 100% of microplastics. That's 500 mils, 27 seconds, and I don't think that is too bad. One thing to know is that this system is not a water purification system, which means that it won't remove those heavy metals or waterborne viruses. So if you're in a country where water isn't regulated, this might be a bit of a problem. So you do need to look into a different system for that. For even more versatility, you can screw the filter onto most standard disposable water or fizzy drink bottles and drink directly from it. A little tip, if you're using different types of bottles to put your dirty water in or your clean water in, mark the lid. Either colour the lid in with a pen or use different coloured lids, just so you know which is which. When water is scarce, make sure to fill up extra pouches or bottles as reserves. The cleaning syringe, also known as the backwashing plunger, weighs in at 28 grams and having this in the kit makes it field maintainable. The squeeze can be cleaned and reused almost indefinitely with no expensive cartridges to replace. All you do is fill the plunger with clean water, insert it into the base of the unit and flush it through. The squeeze's filtering membranes are sturdy enough to withstand backwashing using the included syringe, restoring up to 98.5% of the filter's flow rate each time you clean it.
The included mesh pouch, I weighed in at 14 grams. Now this can be used to keep everything together or it can be used as a gravity water filtration system. I like to say you can take the squeeze out of the squeeze. <laughs> All you do is hang the dirty pouch upside down in it and attach it to the filter. Then attach the supplied gravity tube and let the water filter out on its own accord. I never took that sister out with me though on any of the backpacking or through hiking trips because I just didn't mind squeezing it, it wasn't a problem so the extra weight for me just wasn't worth it. Included are some inline adapters which I weighed in as 12 grams. These can be attached in line to a hydration pack. All you need to do is cut the hose, attach the adapters onto the Sawyer squeeze and then insert it back into the hose where it's being cut, obviously making sure that the flow rate is going in the direction of the drinking. So you will be drinking clean water when you fill this up with dirty water. If you then decide at a later date that you don't want this attached anymore to this hose, you simply take it off, undo the adapters and then pop them together back onto the hydration tube so you can keep it kind of in one system still. Let me just show you what I mean by this. So I've attached the adapters together and that would just then go back onto the hose so it would still be a complete unit for you to drink through. They do another kit called the SP131 and that's got three different size pouches and cleaning coupling which allows an alternative way of backwashing if using a standard plastic water bottle. If you have a look on the website there's also plenty of different accessories that can go along with this. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. Now a few more tips for you. Whatever you do, don't let this freeze. It's okay to freeze it if it has never been used, but once the fibres inside get wet, there is no definitive way of telling if they've been damaged or not. Sawyer recommends replacing your filter if you suspect that it's ever been frozen. If you're in freezing temperatures, they also recommend that you store your filter in your pocket or close to your person so that your body heat can help prevent it freezing. I always made sure to sleep with mine in my sleeping bag. What I'd do is I'd put it first of all in a little waterproof bag and then put it inside my sleeping bag, usually along with all my electronics and everything else that I was carrying with me. So make sure to keep it warm and don't ever let it freeze. The flow rate of the filter will also be compromised after a few uses in areas with silty or really heavy contaminated water. So it's recommended that the syringe needs to be carried with you so you can back flush it each time you use it. If I'm being completely honest, I never carried the syringe out with me on any through hiking or backpacking trips. Instead, what I would use is the nozzle of a sports water bottle and I would back flush it that way. Or when I got to a town specifically on the PCT, I would look in hiker boxes because there was usually plenty of them lying around in those and I would just use it there and then replace it back to the hiker box. Now, if you find that over time that the flow is still not how it should be, despite backwashing it, there's a few more things that you can do. You can do it with hot water. So you can back flush it with water that's no hotter than 60 degrees Celsius, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and do that a few times. If that still doesn't help it, it might mean you've got a bit of a calcium buildup. So what you can do is you can soak it in vinegar for about half an hour and then back flush it with the hot water and that should sort it out. Now, another tip I would definitely give you is to replace the collapsible pouches that the system provides. The company does state that these can be reused hundreds of times, but mine barely lasted a few weeks of continuous use. You can use your own platypus or water bladders, soft water bottles, or what I carried with me was the ever new water bottle, and that worked perfectly for me. I've heard that a few people have had problems with the o-ring not sealing properly over time. Personally, I've not experienced this myself, but if it is an issue, you can purchase it separately and carry a spare with you if you need. So if you're looking for an easy to use and reliable lightweight water filtration system that you don't need any pills, pumps or long wait times for, then I would highly recommend this. It has done me well over all my backpacking and through hiking trips. It's never let me down and it, I genuinely do really love this system. It works very well for me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that it's answered all the questions that you have about it. If it's something that you're looking at getting for yourself. If you do have any other questions though that you want to know, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'll also make sure to link as many details as I can in my description box below, as well as a link on where you can purchase it. 
I've also recently done my ultralight backpacking and camping cook system video. So if you want to check that out, I will link that up here for you as well as the description box below. And if you're interested on more gear reviews or hiking videos or my entire PCT journey, I have got separate playlists on my channel. So please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, make sure you turn on the bell notification so you're notified when my videos are uploaded and I would like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope you've enjoyed it and that it's been helpful. So until next time, goodbye.